Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on Hypixel Skyblog and today we are going to be looking at the best mod for auction flipping. So if you didn't know, auction flipping is one of the best ways to make a bunch of money in Hypixel Skyblog because it requires relatively little effort and you can make a ton of money pretty quickly. Lots of people have had incredible success with this including one person you might know named Nolzy who actually is right now flipping from nothing to a Hyperion. He's done stuff like flipping from a piece of dirt to a Midas. And it's just really insane what you can accomplish with auction flipping and no other money making methods in Hypixel Skyblock. So we're going to be looking at a money making method that can help you make money with the auction house and make it just a lot easier for you to actually try to flip. And of course there are a lot of tools that can help you with this. So if you want more auction flipping guides and stuff like that in the future that can help you do stuff like this, please let me know and I will show you guys more videos like this in the future. And finally, my videos have been doing insanely well recently. My last two videos have just absolutely blown up, and I am now halfway to 4,000 subscribers, even though literally two days ago, I was just at 3,000. So, thank you guys so much for all of the support. Can we get to 4,000 subscribers now? Please subscribe. Let's see. Okay, let's get into the video. So the mod we're looking at today is not enough updates. I'll have the download link in the description as well as a link to my installation guide for this mod. Um, so this, this video isn't going to show you how to install it really, but more of how to use it to actually make profit from the auction house. But if you do want a guide on how to install that, I do have that on my channel. So go check that out first. But let's get into how to actually use the mod. So first thing you're going to need to do is do a slash API new. I'm not going to show you what my API key is, but it'll give you a number in chat. Like, let's say it was this random thing of characters. Then you can do control A, control C, or it might do this automatically for you. Then you go into slash any use settings, go all the way down to API key, and then paste it in. Mine's right there. I'm going to have to put something over it, but you can see your API key goes right there. And once your API key is there, then you want to click any auction house, enable it, and disable age scroll and put on auction notifications to one minute. I keep it on one minute because that alerts you one minute before any auctions you bid on, whether they're ending soon, and that way you can make sure you win it and make sure you're actually making profit from it right as they're ending. So the biggest thing you're gonna to wanna to use is slash NEUAH. So NEUAH is a lot more powerful than the vanilla auction house. It lets you search by like combat swords, bows, armor, accessories, uh, you can search by specific tool types, you can search by pets or pet items, you can search by different types of consumables, locks, and of course a bunch of miscellaneous stuff like of course furniture if anyone wants that, runes, and reforged stones. And another very helpful thing for auction flipping, you can actually sort by the very exact rarity and exact stars for dungeon items as well as the rarity of items of course like you can in the normal auction house and it also has enchant filters for like clean items certain enchants whether it's got hot potato books and stuff like that they can just make it a lot easier to find items it also has this nice lowest buy it now auction house price clean auction house price sales clean and upgrade how much it will cost to upgrade to four stars in this case, since it's already at three stars, and it'll tell you how much you need to upgrade it to the next one. And that's really useful to see, like, whether I'd be making profit. So let's say I go to no star, um, let's say no star legendary flower of truths, um, and I look up flower of truth. I know on the buy it now, they go for about 6.6 .6 mil, and it will tell me that right now. It says 6 mil, actually, because there was probably one that just got purchased and I need to refresh, but if I go to auctions, then I can see this one is going for 6.5 mil, and from looking at it, I know that that one is not up to the same price. So if I click, then I can see how long it has and how many bids it has, and then you can just submit bid from right there or edit your bid amount. All of those extra numbers just reduce the second step of having to go into the auction house, search, toggle it over to buy it now, and then search up your item, look for the exact number of stars it has, and stuff like that. And it just becomes a pain to do that. So it's really nice to not have to do that and just have it right there at your fingertips. Another thing that's really useful in auction house craft flipping is the U key. So let's say I wanted to see, let's say what this ironing it could be used to craft. I can press U and it shows me it can be used to craft compass, it can be used to craft detector rails, used to craft iron trap doors, 
and it also tells me if it's a rare item what the AH price would be and how much it costs. So for example, the AH price is 4219 for a bucket, which only costs three iron. So that could be a good flip, but people might not be buying buckets. So you probably want to find an item that people are actually buying. For example, let's say I go to Enchanted Diamond and I click U. You can see that that costs Hardened Diamond Boots, which lowest buy it now, 11,000. And since that costs four of these, which only cost 1,284 to buy, maybe that is actually profit. But it's not that much profit, so you probably want to look for other things. And this can just show you what items can be used for, and it makes it a lot easier to see whether it's useful to buy something and just makes bizarre uh, to AH craft flipping really easy. And it makes it just a lot simpler to do. And another thing, if you're in the AH, let's say I want to find out how to craft a storm crest plate. If I press R, it'll tell me how to craft it. Now, of course, I already knew how to craft it, but you can always see how to craft it really easily with the R key. So overall, Not Enough Updates is an excellent mod for auction flipping. If you want to see more guides like this in the future, please let me know, and I will work on making more. Thank you guys so much for all of the amazing support recently. I really appreciate it. Have a great day, and goodbye.